Have you back tested your strategy enough to trust it 100,000%? I would be very, very confident to say that not a lot of you out there, especially you guys who are watching this video, have back tested your strategy over a thousand times, right? So that comes with experience, that comes with time in the market. How you can kind of cut that time in half and how you can kind of gain a little bit of experience because we only have so many days, right? We can't make time go any faster. It's not like we can say, hey, well, I started trading today and you know, let me fast forward two years so I can get all that experience under my belt. You can't really do that without just being in the market for over a year, two years, three years and so forth. But how you can kind of cut that experience level, you know, so you can gain more experience in less amount of time is by back testing, right? Now, again, I understand that looking in hindsight, it's kind of easy to see where you should get in, where you should get out, but you have to physically and mentally put yourselves in these trades. And when I mean physically, that means by sitting here, right? Sitting here, going through the charts, whether you want to go through a day, you want to go through two days, we want to go through three days of price action, and we need to mentally put ourselves in the trades. So, Looking at my strategy here, I see one, two, three, four, five. I got five setups, maybe six. I got five to six setups today on the 30th of October. Now, if you personally, and you guys are using my strategy, some of you guys out there, if you guys personally took more than five to six trades, that question is why, right? Why? So now we're getting away from the system if we're taking more than five to six trades. That's to say that you were sitting here all day and you took every single one of them. But there's a lot of you guys who maybe only trade for two or three hours of the market and you guys can go log in right now to your dashboards and see that you guys took seven or eight trades. It's like, why are we not trusting our strategy enough to just, when we get out of the trade, whether it's a winner or a loser, wait for the next setup? Why are we anticipating a new setup? Why are we fabricating, you know, these new entries at every single new low that we put in why are we fabricating entries at every single new high that we make or every single little bottom that's a potential bounce why are we doing that right you can only do that when you have a cushion on your account when you kind of are implementing you know two or three strategies at the same time but you're going to kind of keep separate tabs on each one of the strategies so for example if i was going to take the 20 sma plays over or short and i'm also going to try to take dead cat bounce reversals on indecision candlesticks i can't group that into my uh strike rate for the day altogether because i'm using two different points of entry i'm using two different systems if i'm looking to take the high of day you know break out through the one hour candle or you know the previous day high well i can't group those wins and losses in with my 20 sma scalp plays so in the beginning i would definitely recommend focus on one point of attack meaning if you're going to sit here and you're going to look for consolidation bounces and you're going to look to take those bounces then what you want to do is just focus on that type of entry if you are going to be a scalper and you want to take these uh scalp plays here you need to go back test them how many points on average are you giving up if you do lose how many points on average do these trades run when they do win how many points do they you know normally stop you out at if you're going to get stopped out at this is kind of mentally going to put you in a situation where you can be a lot more comfortable identifying these these setups in real time so for example if you're going to look to take you know 15 or 20 points off the nq for every scalp setup then you need to take 15 or 20 points and or get stopped out at technical damage and a lot of times you traders will get into these particular trades it'll start to come back against you and you get out of it and then you're looking to take a long here because we put in a new high and then another long here and another long here and then you sit through pullback and you get stopped out guys there was only one setup to the long side one setup to the short side two setups to the long side three to the uh or two to the downside three long and three short we literally got three setups to the long side three setups to the short side all of them essentially hit for at least 15 to 20 points right i'm looking through i just want to make sure i'm not speaking out of my ass all of these pretty much hit for around 20 points guys at least a bare minimum of 20 points so even if you took each and every single one of these plays 
20 points times six is 120 points that you should realistically pulled out of the market if you were sitting here all day. So the main thing that I want to get to you guys, uh, get through to you guys is you need to absolutely back test because a lot of you guys do not have any idea of how much you're actually looking to take per trade, whether that be loss or win. So a lot of times what's happening is, is you'll scalp this first candle, you'll make some money here, and then you'll try to jump in again at the highs. It'll pull back on you. You'll have too much size on the table. You'll stop out for a loss. You'll see it put in a new high, feel that you missed out on the move, get in again, see it pull back, and you do the same thing over and over and over. So again, Stick to your edge, follow your strategy 100%. You have to have some type of discipline to you know, follow something on a day in and day out basis because without following a particular trading plan, you're pretty much just guessing each and every single day. So when you come into the day, have one specific thing that you're looking for. Am I looking for change in trends over or under the uh, 20 SMA on a five minute time frame. If that's what you're looking for, you have to stick around and wait for these plays. Now, we did get six trades, but we only got one within the first hour, and then we got another one, you know, about an hour after the market, and then this one came two hours after the market, and then this one came about three hours after the market, and then this big one here, came about four hours after the market opened. So again, guys, if you're not trading for four hours out of the day, then you're gonna miss this one. You're gonna miss this one. You maybe only caught this one and this one to the downside. So again, maybe you only got in two trades, but if you are having a clear understanding of if I do get my setup, I'm gonna look to either A, hold it to full potential, meaning I'm gonna hold it to technical damage and let it stop me out. I'm going to have proper risk management, meaning I'm gonna trade you know, X a number of contracts depending on how big that first initial uh, reason why candle is that I'm getting in. And then I'm looking to take 20 to 25 points, right? I'm gonna open up a couple of uh, evaluation accounts with some prop firms, and I'm gonna kinda honestly just play them to the T. I'm gonna use one strategy. I'm gonna use a 20 SMA strategy on a five minute time frame. I'm gonna legitimately look for the NQ uh, 20 to 25 points or stop loss at a close below my reason why candle. And then on the ES, look for four to six points or stop loss bef uh, below my reason why candle. And I'm gonna look to stop trading guys if I get like one decent winner or two to three small wins and stop. Same thing for the losses. If I take two or three losses you know, and I go down a few hundred dollars, I'm just gonna stop trading on a day. And we're gonna actually kind of see how long does it take to pass one of these prop firm evaluations. You know, how how many days does it, how many winning trading days does it realistically take? Because I kind of feel like a lot of traders out there try to rush the process a little bit too much. They start over trading, they start looking for trades that are not there, this, that, and the other. I'm gonna really put some focus on that as we're coming to the end of the year here. We're getting into November. Um, you know, there's only two months left of the year. My trading uh, year is pretty much wrapped up on the option side of things. Those of you guys who do know me know that I trade options, you know, majority of the time in, in futures, I kind of use it as extra income. Um, so I can take a little bit of time now and kind of relax a little bit and just kind of focus on getting my, you know, uh, the dollar amount of what I'm funded, getting it up to start 2024. So I'd like to add, you know, another two to $300,000 worth of funding under my management. So that way I can, you know, focus on taking smaller percent wins, right? Instead of trying to make, you know, four, five, six percent a month, I'd like to try to focus on one to three percent a month on the entire portfolio. And that would be really, really good gains on a month over month basis. And it would also create a lot less stress, right? I wouldn't necessarily need to trade every single day. I can kind of sit back and be a little bit more patient. So I think I'm gonna start that. Um, if you guys do wanna get involved, maybe you guys can have some accounts going <clears throat> with me. We can all trade them together. I'm gonna to be doing it on live, uh, on 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 um, the live webinar and in Evolution Traders, so you guys can follow along on that on that kind of journey and you guys can kind of, you know, see how I kind of manage my emotions because again, I don't win every single trade and I don't have uh, green days every single day. So you know, maybe it will kind of help to see someone else kind of navigate through that. Who's been through the process before? I've been through the process of being funded dozens of times now, and I've probably lost, you know, 30%, 40% of those accounts that I've been funded on. I've also been paid out, 
you know, a half a dozen times over the past year to year and a half on some of these prop firms. So again, you know, I know the process of what it takes to actually get funded. And I know also how fast you can lose a funded account. And I've also been through the process of getting payouts and kind of stacking that up. You know, there's a right way to do things. And if you kind of just stick to it and you, and you do stay disciplined and you're not in a rush, and you just remain calm and accept the fact that you're not going to be green every day or green every single trade and that every trade's not going to go your way right from entry you tend to kind of relax a little bit and i think in trading that's one thing that does need to be focused on more in the educational space is teaching traders how to actually relax not only when you're on the charts but also how to relax once you're off the charts because I think a lot of traders, you know, they spend a lot of time and mental energy kind of thinking about, you know, their evaluation accounts or thinking about their trades that they lost on or just thinking about what they're doing wrong or how they can get better. So by the time you actually get to the markets, you're so mentally drained already, you're just kind of setting yourself up for failure. And trading is kind of about taking less trades and higher probability setups than just trying to sit there and scalp all day like you're like you're some type of robot on you know some algorithm right so it's like you know have realistic expectations make sure you guys are back testing on a day in and day out basis so you can cut that experience time in half right so if it's going to take you know normal traders you know anywhere between a year and three years to kind of understand this process and you know get comfortable and get that experience under the belt i think you could probably cut it down to like four to 12 months depending on how much you back test and depending on how much in you trade right so if you show up to trade every day and you're back testing every day six seven days a week i think you can definitely cut that timeline in half um but if you're just kind of showing up to the markets and, and, you know, trying to figure it out on the fly when the markets are moving, you're just setting yourself up for failure. And, and it's like I, I hate seeing that happen with a lot of traders because I feel like a lot of traders don't really know exactly what's going on. And they're just kind of looking at these charts and they're like, well, where do you think the next level is to short? Where do you think the next level is to go long? But it's like it's not necessarily about what level you're looking at. Like, what is their strategy say? Like, so when when someone asks me that i'm going to now start turning around and, and asking the question back what does the strategy say is our next point of entry what does the strategy say as far as where the price action is at should we be in a trade currently because a lot of times i'll just give an example a lot of times we'll see a move like this and i will have traders ask me well where do you think that we should go long or where do you think that we should short well according to my strategy my strategy was an entry here and a stop loss originally was here but now that we've gravitated away into profits we can cut that stop loss in half by using a stop loss on this trailing 20. so it doesn't matter if we're looking at the price action here or we're looking at it here or we're looking at it here it's an active long there is no new setup it's an active long until it closes below the 20. Now it's up to you as a trader that if you're going to take profits in here, well then you can't just go start taking every new high because there's no real strategy or edge that you're taking because you're going to get to a point where you enter in on this type of candle, go immediately profitable and then give everything back and go into a big drawdown because you're just chasing a move that got away from you way over here. So let's say, for example, you get into this particular trade here and let's say you get out somewhere in here. There is no new entry until here and that entry is short. OK, so where's a good spot to go long was here. This was the best spot. Where's a spot to go short? It was here, right here. But just because you have these areas and you identify where you should get in, do you know how much points your strategy nets? that you can get in and out with a high strike rate. For me, it's like 15 to 25 points in that range. You know, a couple of weeks ago, it was it was 10 points on the NQ. Those ranges are starting to expand a little bit. It's around 15 to 25 points, somewhere in between there. Now, if I get lucky, because again, the luck is also involved in this business. If I get lucky and I hold through this move and then it starts treading up, yeah, you can definitely get more than 25 points. You know, you can definitely hold it because it's over this 20 period moving average. 
But if you're just looking for 15 to 25 points, once you sell, you have to wait for a new setup. And that new setup doesn't come till over here, okay? That new setup is here. That new setup is here. That original setup was here. So again, you know, whether you catch all of the move or you only catch a little bit of it, it doesn't really matter. You have to wait until you get a new setup. You have to wait until you get a new setup. You have to wait until you get a new setup. You have to wait until you get a new setup. You can't get short here, take profits here, and then look to short here, look to short here, look to short here, look to short here, because eventually you're gonna get caught. And when you get trapped, you're gonna give away all of the little bit of profits you made here on this big pull, on this big uh, bounce here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna try to say, well, I can get in long, and then it pulls back. And then you put yourself down a slippery slope. So again, back test, back test, back test. Experience comes with taking trades. Experience comes with back testing. The more hours you back test, the faster you will get to comfortability and profitability. I can guarantee you that Again, if you want to join the mentorship in the community, that link's down in the description box below. You guys can trade with me each and every single day live, and I'll help you out to the best of my ability.